guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a few days. The weekend, you know, I spent with my family. My family comes first. Uh, so I haven't done any work to the car, but I'm gonna do uh, a little more finishing up along the edges here to finish this up. So a little more Bondo. Just get these nice and flat and flush. You know, right through here. Uh, I, I, I noticed I, I missed the little section right through here that I gotta smoothen up a little bit. And that's just sanding down. I'm not, I'm not getting crazy with that. Uh, like I said, this stuff right here, you're never going to see. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so, and we got some uh, pretty cool news. Uh, so I ordered some new wheels uh, through KRNC Forged. I'm getting a monoblock 18-inch. Uh, I'm going with 12-inch in the back and 11 in the front. I should be... Uh, from what other, some other people have fit with a wide body kit. Uh, currently I have 295s on the rear. I'll be able to put a 335, uh, yeah, 335 tire on the rear and a 315 up front. Uh, so I get, I got those planned. They're custom built. They, they built to your specs. Um, I got some eventually down the road. Uh, some of the, the big brake up, upgrades through wheel wood and yeah, I'll go with the big you know with the bigger bigger setup uh, but that's later down the road so I just and it's really cool uh, the wheel place KRNC the owner he, he calls you personally I mean that's that's pretty freaking cool it's a small setup you know but he calls you personally and they customize your wheel to your liking uh, so that's really, really cool. He was just here at SEMA, he was telling me. I, sh I should have went down there and saw him. No. Yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, so really cool. I'll show you what the wheel looks like. Kind of looks like this. Uh, I want that finish and color. Um, we're going to change a few little things, you know, but we'll leave that for a surprise for when we actually, when, when we actually get the, uh, the wheel itself. All right, so let me go ahead and get a little more uh, Bondo on these. I, I, I just flush it out there and fix this. You know, fix these edges right here. And just, a, you know, hand sand. All I'm going to do is hand sand on the inside and just go a little flush on the inside. I'm not getting, like I said, I'm not getting crazy. Uh, you're just going to see the outside part. So, okay. Let's get to work. Needs more uh, craft popsicle sticks. Running out. That's all right. I don't need a whole lot here, so maybe just two scoops. That's actually quite a bit there. Funny thing with Bondo. You put it on, you, you sand most of it off. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Put all that Bondo on just to shave 90% of it off. Oh, I tell you what, the weather has been really nice. Um, and hopefully, like I said, I can get back to working on this a lot more. Of course, Christmas season is coming up. And uh, that's the next busy time coming up. So we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we're just going to kind of fill in these little gaps that we're that I completely missed on the first go round. Goes on real easy once it's fairly smooth. Okay. I think for the most part on that side that looks good. And this side. This side's gonna lose need it a lot more. There's a 
big old indent right here. One of my favorite body guys uh, that I like to watch is Bad Chad. <laughs> I like how he's just like, just do it, do it how you want. Do it this way, you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> just get it on there. <laughs> yeah, no. I like, I like watching him because he's just, just kind of real. Like, oh, it doesn't matter. If you make a mess, you make a mess. And, you know, you can always fix it. Come back and fix it. So. Yeah. Right there. Of course, Bad Chad, he's been doing that. He's been doing body work forever. So he's, he's definitely a, a pro at it. Some of the custom stuff he's done. Pretty cool. But he lays on the Bondo. You know, I've seen him do it, so. so don't be scared, just get in there and do it. Just got to let it sit, and uh, we'll come back. Uh, you know, it's kind of cool to see kind of the transformation my car has kind of gone through. You know, I mean, adding just like, you know, the little spoiler on the back and from when I first got it. Of course, the, the, the hood vent widening out the front, you know. I, I'm, I'm trying to go for a car that's going to be different, um, you know, when you pull up. You know, you recognize it as a Corvette, but then you get a little bit closer and you're like going, wait a minute, the, there's something diff something definitely different about this. <laughs> so, you know, and then get people to walk around and of course my side pipe covers. Um, there's, a, the, the, you know, some people like them, some people don't. I personally like them. Um, I think it kind of, you know, contrasts the car a little bit, <clears throat> you know, from between the chrome. And also it saves a leg and doesn't catch your pants on fire. <laughs> uh, you know, the little hood scoop, you know, just, just little or hood scoop, uh, hood vent. Just the little things, you know, I mean, it's, I'm trying to make it not, not, you know, uh, like I said, extreme, but not, I want it to be subtle extreme. Does that make any sense? Like subtle extreme? Cause like I said, a lot of people. On the fender flares, they'll bring it all the way out and then, you know, come all the way down and just make a huge, like, just, you know. So I'm just trying to make it flow. Uh, yeah, a better flow, you know, modify it and make it flow. Um, got all the color. I don't know what my camera's not collecting color very good on this right now. Um, you know, and, uh, and of course, when I get the new wheels and new tires guess what i'll have to lower uh i'm gonna have to lower these the back tires are going to be about the same but see how much gap i have in the back but that's easy i just get a longer bolt and uh i can lower it really easy with 18 inch you know uh wheels on the front it's going to come down uh, about an inch uh well about let's see about inch uh, about not quite an inch and a half, maybe between an inch and a quarter, an inch and a half, uh, you know, down on the tire because they're low pro, low pro. 
but like I said 315 up front to make it fit you have to bring it down um, so once that I'll have to lower the front too um, for the meantime uh, before you know I don't don't have the money to get coil coil overs or anything like that things little things at a time so I'm gonna get the the wheels done brake package eventually you know of course new tires uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut on the the spring I'll just cut uh, what they they say maybe a full full coil cut it and I'll drop it down an inch and that should get me close there uh, you know and so that will lower my car a little bit and then I'll have to figure out the bolt size on the back once I get the the wheel and tire set up on it all right so only problem like I said during when it's cool takes longer for things to set up uh, so anyway we'll come back all right <clears throat> I'm just going to hand sand right through here just to kind of get it flush. Like I said, I'm not getting too crazy with it. I just want to smooth it out where there's no big, you know, gaps or anything like that. <clears throat> it's not going to matter too much. On this side, like I said, anyway, it's going to be more on this flat side that we're going to really worry about. But I still want it to get it, like I said, as flush as possible. And just trying to make it as nice. Nice as could be in case you do take it off. <clears throat> and well, it's still, you know, it'll still look rough underneath but it won't look horrible I got out I'm saying <laughs> so. I got nothing special I'm just getting some of that real big breakfast out of here yeah once I get those wheels it's gonna completely change the look of my car no, uh, I know some people like like the the wheels I got on there now, but if I'm ever gonna make it, uh, <clears throat> you know, upgrade it and everything with bigger brakes and, and better suspension than that, it's gonna have to happen. You know, 15, unfortunately, 15 inch uh, doesn't cut it, you know, uh, anymore. Especially if you ever if it ever goes like. Like autocross or anything like that, even though I'm not gonna be autocrossing. But if I ever take it into twisties, I'd rather have an 18 inch tire and, uh, you know, wheel and tire <clears throat> set up. You're gonna be off a lot, lot better. Um, unfortunately, Especially if you're like in the twisties and that, and if you have a 15 inch, you, you get that, you'll start getting body roll, uh, you know, because of the, the tread, or not the tread, the, the sidewall flexes a lot more. And so that's, that's another reason you want to go, you know, with the bigger wheel set up like that. Now, if you were drag racing, I would say probably the opposite because you see those the drag racing tires and everything you know you want that flex to grip to really go so an 18 inch would make sense <clears throat> if you're drag racing but like I said I'm set up I'm setting up the car to drive and handle well I wanted to drive handle you know kind of like a new car or, or a newer car you know the what, what do new vets do you know it's a sports car you're supposed to take it through the turns and you know stuff like that um, 
we'll leave like the drag racing and and all that to the to the Mustang people. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill a primer this stuff in and just kind of just get a base coat down. Like I said it's not. I'm gonna have to come back over it a few more times anyway. But let's get some primer down. funny every time I am working on my car <laughs> somebody always comes by and asks if I'm wanting to sell the car you know or to restore it and they, oh, I'll restore it for you well not you know for a fee of course and I'm like I always <laughs> I always are just real nice like yeah I, I understand <laughs> but not for sale and I'm doing it myself uh, you know I've tried to explain to them Gotta save money. That's why I'm doing it myself. If I had a ton of money, I'd pay the people that do SEMA cars. <clears throat> I'd pay them the cash to do it, you know? <clears throat> so, yeah, it's just real fun. So, anyway, let's get a, get a layer of uh, filler primer down. Like I said, this is the back side. It's not gonna matter that much on the back side. All right, so I wanna show you, it's not even close to being perfect. You can see all the ripples and everything like that. Uh, you know, a lot of things, like I said, I didn't see that. And this is the, this is the area I'm more concerned about because you will see this. That's gonna be up front and center, so I really need to work these out and get them. Oh, I got a little bit of a run. Um, you know, luckily it's just primer, but anyway, I need to go back and fill it through. See, I, I couldn't see those little, little dots or pinholes. I don't know. Maybe it's just age or something. I don't know. I just can't see it when I'm just sanding. This one's much better, but I still got some tiny little things. I got to fix that. Got to cut that out. And see, just tons of tiny little pinholes from the, uh, the fiberglass when it's sitting but like i said i'm not worried about this uh and you know these little I, i'm just gonna go over with bondo you know what just put it on my finger whoop, fill it in and all these tiny little holes be good enough i'm not you know i don't want to be adding way too much weight it'll be like i said good enough I'm more worried about the corners getting these done correctly because that's what you're going to see. This is going to go up against the car. So no worries there. And then once I kind of get this finished, you know, to, to my liking. Uh, see, like, I, I can see where it comes up a little bit right there. I'll, I'll take the sander down to it and I'll sand that down. You know, and get it a little more flush there. You know, I don't have to, but like I said, a little bit of the OCD. Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh... Just little things like that. So we'll let this sit uh, overnight, get prepared, and then I'll come back and I'll fix all these, uh, some of these areas that I, I didn't even see. That's what the filler primer is there for, is for me to come and look to see all the major things that I missed. Um, I'm just gonna use the belt sander, get and make some of this flat and take off some of this old paint. I started a little bit and it just chipped and chips were flying around all over the place. So let's try and make this a little more flush and flat throughout here, clean it up. And then we can come by with Bondo and uh, make it look nice within the license plate holder. Once again, this is something that you just, you won't see, but it's, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> okay.
this out, make it kind of nicer. Problem is with this section, it's just a really hard corner or area to work with to get Bondo in there. So I can see why people give up on it. Because it is a very, very, very tough corner. edges to work on. right in these corners. I'm going to just try to take my little stick. Just go right down. See if I can get that. Get that angle. Same with that one. Okay. take a lot of a lot of hand sanding through there all right so let's move right on over to here let's fill in some of these these big areas that there we go Oop. don't want up in there Just go ahead and do that. Take that out. Alright. Just to get the basic shape. Okay. And I'll also try set my stick because it's smaller. Get it up through here. apply it. Just take your finger and smooth it out through because it's basically just an impossible area to get to. All right. All right. It's getting a little dark. So I'll just basically get that bondo up on there. And then I can come back and just sand it smooth. And then I can always come back with that U-pole which is even nicer. It's a nicer type of Bondo. And uh, just get the basic shape. Because this is basically all I got to do here. The, up here, this is just going to be wet sanding, basically. It's it's pretty flush. Um, there's nothing really major, you know, nothing really major that I have to really hit. So a lot of that's going to be just like wet sanding, you know, I'm not going to go crazy and go down all the way to fiberglass. There's no need to. Um, this back end was pretty decent. I mean, yes, there was there was little cracks and stuff in the paint, but I, I really went down uh, to the fiberglass on top here. So 
Um, there's only a few places, like right here, I have to go down to the fiberglass because it has chips, a chip in it. You know. But that's really, really, really easy stuff. All right. Um, yeah. We're going to end there for the night. And uh, like I said, we'll cut. it's getting just too dark. I can't can't really see what the hell I'm doing now. <laughs> I tried to beat the daylight, but hey, at least I, I'm doing something, huh? So and this is, see, this looks way better at night too. You can't even see any of the flaws. So I wouldn't be able to work. I really wouldn't be be able to work on it. You know, I uh, could a little bit on this side because of it's in the light, but. But anyway, I need more more light. All right, guys. Uh, until next time, we'll see you then.